Hi gorgeous, thank you so much for watching. I cannot go any further without saying thank you so much for your incredible amount of love and support in the last video. I was by no means asking of you to um, compliment me or anything like that. I just, you know, we all have those days where we just need to let it out. And uh, I just really appreciate you being here more than you can possibly imagine. I just think the world of you guys and you commenting is my way of feeling connected to you because I can't see you like you can see me. So that's my only way to really see, um, to connect with you is just to read your comments and your thoughts and things like that. So I just appreciate every single one of you so much and um, I love you all. So having said that, I had asked you in that video if you wanted to show, if you wanted me to share with you my incredibly ginormous, gihugic shoe haul, even though some of them were from Piper Lime, which I don't, still don't understand why they closed their doors, but whatever. And everyone said yes, just to show the whole thing. I will link the ones that are still available that I got from Zara and whatnot. And the other ones you can just use as inspiration. So I am going to start with the ones that are still available to my knowledge. I got these very recently. I'm going to start with, um, I'll start with these. These are from, these are really inexpensive. Um, I want to say misguided, and they are little mules. They're so adorable. I got both pairs because they were around 20 some dollars. I got the black pair, and these are insanely comfortable, by the way. That really surprised me. I got the size seven. I'm always between a seven and a seven and a half with pumps um, and with open-toed shoes, like, like you know, open backs. I go with a size seven because I don't want my foot to kind of flop up if it's a slightly bit big, and these fit perfect. Um, like I said, I got the black ones, and I got the nude ones, which are really, really pretty. I love this color nude. It's a very nice kind of blush color. It's not pink, um, but it's like a, just a nude, a true nude, really, and they're really beautiful. So I love these, and these were really inexpensive. I don't tend to buy super, super inexpensive shoes because they don't tend to be very comfortable. Um, that's just my experience. And these, for 20 some dollars, they have a nice padding inside, a nice soft padding inside. So I was really excited to get those, and um, I'm gonna style them for you soon in, some, um, in the lookbook and show you how I like to wear them. And then let's move on to Zara. I have been wanting a pair of white pumps. I really, really want the um, Jimmy Choo or the Manolo BB white pump. Well, those are, have been out of stock forever in my size and they're a custom made shoe so they won't come in for months. So what I think I'm gonna do is just order them anyway and just wait until they are in stock. Um, let me know if you have the Able Jimmy Choo or the Manolo BB in the white which one of them is more comfortable and which one of them you prefer. I really wanted to invest in a nice white pump because I don't have one, but I found these and I think these are just gorgeous. And in Zara, Zara doesn't carry size sevens, so I always have to get a size seven and a half. And um, I love these. I think you're gonna like them too. They're really, really nice. Oh, they have the little thing on there. Let me snap that off, the little band. Can I make any more noise? And this is what these look like. Now, the reason why I love these, I don't know if you can see the cut right here, that are cut right about here, and they have like a clear edge to them, which makes the shoe look so good on your foot. I love Zara shoes. I have so many other shoes. They have really fantastic quality. They last forever, and these were only $59.90, so you can't beat that, um, and they're really beautiful. So I got those. I guess I can show you the other one, too. It's beautiful, just as well, just as like the West one, just like the first one. So this is just a little black strap I have to cut off. So I love these, and I was thinking, how good would they look with a pair of denim shorts and like a distressed, not distressed. Um, I can't think of the word. A graphic tee. I thought that, you know I would give the outfit like a nice little edge. And then the other pair I got from Zara. These are like a mule as well. I think that's what the style is called. Yep, yeah, it's a mule. And this was a really cool shoe. Now, I don't know how comfortable these are gonna be. I haven't worn them out yet, but look at this. Oh, oh, love these. 
I love these. I mean, this was $49.90. These were $49.90. How beautiful are they? I absolutely, I'm telling you right now, if you have not ever owned a pair of Zara shoes, you need them in your life because they are fabulous and they're really, they're really wonderful for the price as well. So I love these. I'll show you the other one. Again, I haven't worn them yet. I want to wear these with some, just some boyfriend jeans or some straight leg jeans and like a white tank top and a kimono, like a black kimono. I thought these would look really good. So really, or like a midi, a midi um, tight dress or something like that. I'm really excited. Joe said to me the other day, which I thought was really, really sweet. He said, um, you know, we don't really go on, we used to go on a weekly date. That used to be our thing. It was, you know, every Wednesday night we would go on a nice date and we used to, we made it Wednesday night because weekends are just so crowded in restaurants and things like that. And um, he said, we haven't done that in so long. I said, I know. I mean, life just kind of takes over. You work, busy, you travel, you're doing so much stuff. And he said, we're bringing that back. When we come back from Florida, we're going to start on our um, Wednesday week our Wednesday weeknight date night. So that's what we're gonna start doing again. I'm so excited and I put, I had those shoes in mind with like a black dress. I thought that would look really good. Okay, the rest of them, unfortunately, are all the ones I purchased from um, Piper Lime. Now, if any of you know what happened with Piper Lime, I would love to know. I thought the site was doing really well. Um, but apparently it wasn't, and they just shut the doors, which I'm really bummed, but that's probably why these shoes were on such a good deal. I don't have my receipt with you, but I can guarantee you I paid less than $40 for pretty much every pair of these shoes I'm about to show you. And they're really good shoes, and they're good quality, there's some good brands, so I'm thrilled to get started. The first pair, I really have a thing for mules. This is from Aldo. And you might be able to find these on Amazon, eBay, you know, 6 p.m., maybe that website. I think it's an affiliate of Zappos. I'm not sure. But I will list the names of every one. This is the AMA. But I will list the names of each one down below so for reference in case you want to look them up. This is the first pair. Let's look how beautiful these are. I'll take this stuff out because you see those? Look how beautiful. I love them. I haven't worn them just yet, but they do have a slight platform. Um, I don't think these are going to be all day shoes that you can put on and run around all day in, but I think they're definitely a few hour shoes, perfect for a date night. And I love these. I think again, with a nice dress, with jeans, with shorts. I love mules because they really do look really good with shorts. Now, I am someone who doesn't love short, short, short shorts. Uh, so I have a hard time finding a pair that fits me just right. So if any of you have a brand, a cut, a style that you really love, I would love to know. They have to be flattering and they have to cover my bum bum because I don't want my lady parts showing to the world. Um, I'm 28 pushing 29. <laughs> I don't need anyone to know. Um, I don't need to bring the, the what, what's that saying? A milkshake does not bring the boys to the yard, if you know what that means, if, if you know what I'm talking about. I am not about to show my skin, my buttocks like that. So if any of you know of a good pair of shorts that covers up, but it's still really flattering for someone who has bigger hips and nicely sized thighs, I would really love to know. So thanks in advance. <laughs> the next pair is from Dolce Vita. These are the brand, the style Tyler. I got these in mind particularly for some white distressed jeans and this is why because they are a fabulous fabulous color I love this color it's like um almost like a Bloody Mary or like a strawberry margarita color I love this color they're so pretty I have yet to wear them I think these are size seven and a half. Um, with shoes like this, I do like to get a seven and a half that lace up because that way I have a little bit of wiggle room because if the seven just fits me perfectly, I feel like my foot is claustrophobic in the shoe. But I love these. I have tried them on. I tried this one on. You can see I didn't do the best job of shoving this stuff back in, but um, they're really pretty. And uh, they do take some time to, you know, put on and off because of all the, of all the, sh the laces and whatnot, but they're beautiful. They're really beautiful shoe. I can't even tell you how inexpensive these were. It almost makes me nauseous that I didn't get more because they were 
the deals were just so unbelievable. I can't, I can't even get over it. Okay, these I did wear. These are by Aldo as well. Again, from Piper Lime. And these are the style Ibanama, Ibanema, something like that. And these are a size seven. I wore these with a light pair of denim and like, um, it's like a tank, it was like a dressier tank, but it was a, um, a, like a powder blue color and it was like that style that cuts right here. It's really flattering cut. That's what I wore this with, these with. And they, I got so many compliments on these shoes. I wore them to a, a baby shower um, for my, for Joe's cousin Carly, um, who's having a girl. <laughs> um, I wear these to a baby shower and everyone, everyone, everyone stopped me to ask me about my shoes because they were so pretty and they are, Gorgeous. The heel is not too high. I believe this is only like a three and a half inch heel. Um, they were really comfortable considering the kind of shoe because you don't have a lot of support. With shoes like these, you just don't have a lot of support. So you have to kind of be careful with how long you wear them and things like that because you just, you just have this holding it up. And with a shoe with an ankle strap, you have to be careful that the ankle strap is not too thick because if it's too thick, it cuts off your leg. And if it cuts off your leg, it makes your leg look short and stumpy. But these were beautiful. And I did wear them with a pair of light denim. They weren't too dark. So it kind of really elongated my leg because the light of in the strap kind of all went together with the jean really, really well. So these were fabulous and I think these were like 20 something 23 24 dollars and these were originally like a hundred dollars and they were 70% off and then they were an additional like 30% off and so I got them really inexpensive and I loved this color so much that of course when you like one thing you can't just get one I love that so much I got them in the pump version which I haven't worn yet but love Love, love, love. And I think the heel is again, three and a half. And I did get the size seven and they are absolutely beautiful. They fit my foot so perfectly. I absolutely love them. And I hope that you can find these somewhere because these were just so nice. And I just love these. These are, I think, such a nice summer shoe. They remind me of the beach. They remind me of the ocean. It's just, I think it's gorgeous with a white dress. Mm, love. Okay, and the last pair they are from Schutz. This is my first pair of Schutz, and I can guarantee you not my last because these are beautiful and they are so comfortable. The style of these is the Brazilian. I got the size seven and a half. The color is really what drew me in. I have to say the color online was a little bit different than what showed up, but when it showed up, it's even prettier. It's like a light powdery, it's not even a, it's kind of like a, a mix between a light blue and a gray. It is the most beautiful shoe. And when you put this on, you just want to stare at your feet all day because they look absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is another one like the um, Dolce Vita. It takes a little bit of time to put them on because they've got all these straps that you have to get just right in order for them to fit your foot well. But they're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to wear them. And I love the um, detail. I don't know if you can see the Schutz brand right there. I love them. They are just beautiful. And this is, I think, a, a classic four inch heel. So that is that. Those are all of my shoes. I think that's enough, wouldn't you say? And I didn't purchase them all in one time. I purchased the ones from Zara, kind of, the ones from Zara and the ones from Misguided, I got like in a month span. And then the ones from Piper Lime, I did get them all in one time because they were all just the most incredible. I think I got all five pairs, no exaggeration, I think for like $114, 115 something like that. They were a really, really good deal. Actually, I'm lying. I got four pairs for about $114 and the Schutz were a separate um, purchase. Same from Piper Lime on a great deal. But anyway, those are everything. I hope that they uh, uh, were exciting to watch. Again, I'll leave what I can link down below and what I can't link, I will just put the names down for reference. And I hope that you find, you find them somewhere or you find something similar um, somewhere else. And one of you made a really sweet comment in my last video when I asked you about the shoes and you said, I want to see them all even though I can't wear them because I'm, you know, I'm pregnant, saving up for the baby. And let me tell you, I don't have children. I hope to one day. 
I've been around babies my whole life, and um, Joe's, both Joe's cousins just have, you know, one has a th three month old, four month old, and then the other one has a seven month old. And I can just tell you, no pair of shoes is as magical at, and brings you as much fulfillment and joy as a baby. So forget the shoes, enjoy that baby, smother it with love and kisses and hugs because I'm telling you, I, from my experience, I don't even have babies on my own. And I can't imagine, you know, when the day comes that I have my own, I just, I don't even know what I'll do with myself. I'll just be over the moon in love. So anyway, those are everything. Those are all of my latest shoe purchases. I have a clothing haul coming very soon. Um, I also wanted to give you a heads up that if you shop at Target at all, clothing wise, like maxi dresses and basic tank tops, check their website on a daily basis because the other day they had buy one, get one 50% off on everything. So let me give you a heads up because they were some really good deals to begin with. So you never know, you might find something that you like. So that is everything. I hope that you found this fun. Thank you so much for your incredible love and support. Oh, hey, the frame is up. Uh, don't you love it? Someone said, what's the name of the store because you wanted to get it too. Unfortunately, it's um, a one-off boutique here in downtown where I live and she makes them herself and she doesn't sell online or anything like that. So it's kind of one of a kind um, and I love it. So, and those are not stickers. Those are really in the frame. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being my friend and I'll see you next time. Bye.